Dear viewers, welcome to Nursat Satellite Station and Telelumir TV. Let's start with the headlines. Pope Francis, the goal of catechism is to reach the encounter with Jesus. His Majesty King Abdullah II and Pope Francis offer condolences to the British monarch on the death of Queen Elizabeth II. Deacon Silwan Hanune, a monotheistic priest in the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of Jordan. We also have Patriarch of the Holy City, Kyrios Kyrios Theophilus III, a chairman of the Holy Synod. Welcome back. His Holiness Pope Francis, during his meeting with the participants in the Third International Conference of Teachers of Catechism at Paul VI Hall in the Vatican, stressed that the goal of Christian education is to reach the encounter with Jesus Christ and allow Him to grow in us. His Holiness described their specialization as a living experience of faith to pass on to new generations, stressing His Holiness' personal encounter with each of the recipients of the Annunciation, noting that when we believe in Jesus Christ, we transmit His secrets and keep His commandments. His person, thanks to the Holy Spirit, becomes the living of internal basis of our behavior. And said, Catechists are called to make the person of Jesus Christ a visible basis for life, and for this reason, and as a criterion for judging moral action. Pope Francis concluded by saying, I accompany you all with my blessing and entrust you to the intercession of the Virgin Mary and the martyred catechists, and I ask you not to forget to pray for me. His Majesty King Abdullah II expressed his deep condolences to His Majesty King Charles III on the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Britain. His Majesty recalled in a letter sent to the King of Britain the great impact that Queen Elizabeth had on the global level, saying that she was an example of wisdom, balanced leadership, and dedication to serving her people. His Majesty referred to the late Queen's role in strengthening the strong relations between the two royal families and the two peoples in the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan and the United Kingdom. His Holiness Pope Francis also offered his condolences to His Majesty Charles III, King of Britain, on the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, affirming his prayer for the late and for the great responsibilities that the new King bears, and said in his telegram addressed to the King Charles, I was very saddened by the news of the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. I offer Your Majesty condolences and members of the royal family, the people of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth. The Pope continued, I join all who weep in prayer for the eternal rest of the late Queen and praising the life she lived in tireless service to the good of the nation and the Commonwealth. And by her example, in the unwavering faith in Christ and complete faithfulness in His promises, praying to the Lord to reign an abundance of divine blessing as a token of consolation and strengthening in Him. On a related level, Buckingham Palace announced the date of the funeral ceremony for the late Queen Elizabeth II, who died on the 8th of September in Scotland. The Holy Church celebrates on the 14th of September every year the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross by St. Helena. This feast is associated with the crucifixion and death of Christ on Mount Calvary. On this blessed occasion, churches in the world hold festive masses according to the Western calendar in the presence of heads of churches and priests, deacons, monks, nuns, and the masses of believers. And based on its sacred message of faith, Nusat Satellite Office in Jordan and Palestine covered the celebrations of the Feast of the Exaltation of the Cross in a live broadcast from the churches scattered in the various governorates of the kingdom and on the social networking platforms. Deacon Silwan Hanune was ordained a monotheistic priest by placing the hands of His Eminence the Archbishop in the divine liturgy that was held at the Church of the Master's Entry into the Temple in Sofia. In a spiritual speech, His Eminence addressed the new priest, saying, One of the most important responsibilities in your awaited service in Ajlun is to restore confidence between people and the clergy. He instructed him to preserve the illumination of his heart and mind that comes from God's love and to always be grateful for the grace of denying the priesthood. His Excellency was assisted in the service by several fathers, priests, and deacons in the presence of the families of the new priest and several parishioners. The Holy Synod was held in the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate under the chairmanship of His Beatitude, the Patriarch of the Holy City, Kyrios Kyrios Theophilus III, and it was decided in the meeting to appoint Archimandrite Vindictus Kayal as a spiritual head of the Monastery of Cana, Galilee, and the acceptance of the resignation of the economist Saleh Khouri from his duties as shepherd of the Orthodox parish in the city of Sakhnin, Acre district, as well as the acceptance of the request of the monotheistic Father Porfirius from the Monastery of St. Gregory to join the Brotherhood of the Holy Sepulchre.
as well as the appointment of Archimandrite Hanania as an alternate member of the Primitive Ecclesiastical Court. In the Hall of Saints, Constantine and Helen, in the Cathedral of the Annunciation in Abdali, a new session of the program Two Rings on the Rock of the Lord for those who are about to get married, with the participation of 15 engaged young men and women, Dr. Bashar Qsus, Dr. Maryam Ghanma, and the economist Salim Danat lectured in the session, where the lectures discussed several topics, including the physical relationship in marriage, and the importance of premarital examinations, clarity and frankness between the fiancé, in addition to the need for the fiancés to understand each other from an intellectual and psychological point of view, in addition to the importance of the period of acquaintance, engagement, frankness, and real disclosure between the two fiancés with all material matters, and even the importance of concealment of any partner's health issues. A comedy drama was held at the stage of Terra Santa College in Jabal al Wabdi in Amman, entitled Still There's a Chance, performed by Don Bosco Sicilian, Youth in Jordan. In the presence of several priests and nuns, and Dr. Basim al-Sam'an, the regional director of New Sat Satellite Office, Jordan, and in Palestine. The play, which was written and represented by the youth members, talks about many problems that young people face in their lives. At the end of the show, the youth presented Dr. Sam'an with an honorary shield in appreciation of New Sat's efforts in their continuous coverage of Christian activities in the kingdom. Several friends and supporters will also honor it. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Pope Francis, the goal of catechism is to reach the encounter with Jesus. His Majesty King Abdullah II and Pope Francis offer condolences to the British monarch on the death of Queen Elizabeth II. Deacon Silwan Hanouni, a monotheistic priest in the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of Jordan. Patriarch of the Holy City, Kyrios Kyrios Theophilus III, a chairman of the Holy Synod. For more information, please visit our website www.nursadjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.